let me stream with the microphone and see how well it works and see here. And I'm actually removing the audio sound effects around me. So you're not going to hear anything. I have the door open. The gardener is in the front. I'm actually using this microphone for this purposes. So. Today, we bring a condenser microphone, VM50. We're going to take a look at it, see how well it works. Now, it has a little bass on the bottom, a little heavy duty. If you're going to be streaming or if you're going to be podcasting, this might be the solution for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see how well it works. And we're also going to test it out and the audio and see if we can, you know, manipulate some of the changes and the fly and see how it makes the difference between the audio and adjusting it. So we're going to go ahead and set it up. And first of all, we're going to open it up and see what you get when you get some of this. So let's go ahead and open it up. First of all, they give you the menu and then they give you a cable right here off the bat. It's a type C connection. So you're going to get the highest performance on it. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. And if you guys notice, I don't have to rebuild or put anything together. It's already pre-packed and ready to go out of the box. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. So this is the entire assembly kit that they give you. And out of the box, I didn't have to set it up to anything. It was auto, it, it was ready to go pretty much. You got your connections in the back, which is you're going to have your headsets here for the feedback. It's a 3.5 jack. And then you have the type C connection to power and I actually start using the actual device too. So everything runs through the whole system in there. Now, if you guys notice there is this adapter, you could change it. I actually have a, a Yeti microphone that I'm going to replace it with this system itself too. And I like the actual filter that they have in here in front of it. It's built in already. It's metal. You don't have to adjust it or anything. There's about maybe half an inch of uh, uh, this from, from this distance to the microphone. So that's not bad. Um, shock absorbers. It's already built in. If you guys can see them, they're already rubber bands in there. Um, you could just flex. It's flexible. If you guys notice, so any movement, you're not going to hear any jivers on the actual sound. Uh, this, this, this actually, uh, only up, it goes a couple of degrees up and high, you know, if you guys can see that, uh, but the whole base itself is not as heavy as I thought, but there is some weight, more weight on the bottom here. It's more, it's a different type of metal compared to the aluminum on the top. Uh, this is really well made plus and negative for the, uh, for the actual audio control here. And, um, that's pretty much that to give you, there's only one control in here. Um, there is a button that you actually hit to turn it off and on and mute it too. So just remember that if you want to mute it on and off, um, mute on, just click on it and then audio plus audio negative. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And we're also going to stream with it. So let's go ahead and do that. So those that are concerned are not having a type C, then this is a perfect solution because this one actually comes with two connections, two in one. So you could type connect it to type C or to type A. So you don't have to be concerned about not having a, if you don't have an older, if you have an older machine and don't have a, an actually type C to type C, that's perfect. So they give you an extra option if you guys can see that. That's another plus. So let's go ahead and set it up. Plug that one in. Then we plug it underneath, right underneath of it. You guys can see it. And look at that. It just came up right now, light lit up right now. And it's picking up on my laptop automatically. What, how do you want to do it as? Want to do it as headsets or speakers, your type, but we're going to skip that part and we're going to start recording from the actual computer, see how it sounds like it on the actual machine. So let's go ahead and do that. So if you guys can see, it, it's actually capturing pretty good. Um, the microphone itself, let's go ahead and do a test, all right? And I'm going to turn it around and see, I'm going to count to three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So you guys can see the microphone, how I twist it. Uh, the mute button, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, it captures pretty good. Uh, I like that it's easy, flexible, small. It fits in anywhere. You could compact and put it pretty much on a bag, on your backpack and set it up and ready to go. Um, two connections. You don't even need the the headset if you want. You can just have it. But I would recommend you put it in there to adjust it and just to have it well and, and hear it because you're going to want to see how loud. You want to want to hear how loud it gets. So if you want to turn it up, you can. So that's pretty good. I like this setup. I like where it goes. I like how, how easy it is. And, and if you're going to be gaming like I am, and you want them to actually hear you pretty good, you could use this microphone really good. They're gonna hear everything. I would say consider maybe putting a mute button once in a while so they won't have to hear your surrounding or your mom coming in or anybody else. But if you're gonna be in a, a nice secure area, 
where you don't care what audio you're going to capture, this is perfect right now. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.